So what happened to this young couple, my mom and dad? Did they go on to live happily ever after? Sadly, their time together as a married couple amounted to a mere 24 and a half years, proving once again that happily ever after is only for fairy tales. As I approached the end of my college years, my dad was diagnosed with a cancer that had already spread too far for a cure. All doctors could offer was the possibility of eking out a little bit of additional time for him. My dad died on October 30th, 1971, just three months shy of his 48th birthday in the little house in Chicago's Ashburn neighborhood he and my mom had bought when my brother and I were little. It was a rough time for all of us, but especially for him. My mom went on to live nearly another 40 years after losing him. That time gave her the opportunity to experience a whole lot more of life, including the joy of watching her two grandsons grow up. My mom died here with me in 2011 at the age of 88. So that's my family's story. As of the 2020 coronavirus pandemic, using my mom and dad's wedding photos as the jumping off point, I tried to keep it brief, but as you see, it evolved into seven episodes. I want to thank everyone who contributed to this project by providing me with access to their own family's photo collection. I never could have undertaken such an effort without the additional material. I'd also like to make an appeal for even more photos. If while going through your own collection of old photos, you find any with this photographer's stamp on the back, I ask you to please contact me. I'd like to know who else attended the wedding. I'm sure I haven't seen all the photos taken at this important event yet, and I'd love to be able to tell even more stories about some of my family members and place them at a very specific time and event. Also, if you can identify more of the people in the background of these pictures I've included here, I hope you'll get in touch with me. Some of the faces in the photos remain a mystery to me. Why did they attend the wedding? How were they connected to my mom and dad? Maybe you can help me answer these questions. Finally, I hope my effort here will serve in some way to encourage you to tell your family's story. We have tools readily available to us now that make it possible to take on such projects in ways previous generations could never have imagined. And if I can help you in your own storytelling project, please do get in touch. You'll be creating a work that may well live beyond your time here, and it will help keep the memory of your family members and you alive for your family members yet to be born.